DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one live from the dirty section of YouTube. Y'all know the slogan. Today we're going to talk about the altercation that happened with Mendeecees and Jim Jones. Now let's get into it. Mixtapes and DVDs is my era Facts. We did it better yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers Facts. ACG Boots uh. We 80s babies Ooh. In early 90s When it got grimy I was out of this world You could not find me Unless you checked the lobby Hustling was my hobby We was lobby boys yep. Before Jim Jones You could catch me at Harlem Eating Jim Bones now, a lot of people been asking me about the intro to my videos. Yes, that's me rapping on the intro. It's produced by my guy, Kata Boss. And if more people ask for that record and it's more demand, I'll drop the full version. But anyway, let's talk about this man, DC and Jim Jones situation. Now, in this clip I'm about to play for y'all, it's basically Cameron talking to man DC while he was incarcerated and man DC explains a situation he had with Jim Jones. Now we gonna get into the audio and let me know what y'all think. Now listen. How did you and him get into an altercation? Like how did y'all two start beefing? Well, it wasn't really a beef because it was like really one-sided, you know? And right. I was, I was an aggressor. <laughs> and then when he came back to the See the see the thing is this, bro. I know the story, but I want you to. I, I know everything. I just want people. I know this. You you know I know everything. It's just you got a hundred thousand listeners right now. Just tell your side because you never really get to tell your side. Hold on, man, DC. Let me, hold on, let me just catch everybody up to speed. So, basically, Jim and Jim and Jim and Jim and Jim and man, DC had words exchanged in Miami over Chrissy and Andy, and basically they was going to squash it in New York. So Jim goes to man, DC's projects to go meet him. That's where man, DC's at in this story right now. So so okay, okay. So basically, he came he came to your projects. Y'all supposed to squash the beef. The beef ended up not getting squashed. Like, yeah, he got loud. Like he took his coat off and he was talking loud and he took his coat off and I think that's 
Swansea took his coat off, that was a mistake he made. I, 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 think, I mean, you know what, I don't mean, like, he waited six years to tell you. It's been like, it's been like six years ago. Right. Like, we, I, I, I constantly never talked about it because this, that wasn't something I want to promote. Like, y'all don't get no points out of me doing nothing to Jim. He's not a he's he's a civilian. He's not a street guy. Like I don't give a point for that. Like people 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 say, but what I what did I expect? He's a college kid that that gangster rap. Like I don't want him right. I don't understand. It's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> now that's man DC explaining his situation he had with Jim Jones in Harlem. Basically his wife Yandy got into it with Chrissy. Jim Jones had dudes and other people trying to jump Yandy, and they tried to squash when they got back to NY. When they got back to NY, Jim Jones pulled up on them, as y'all heard, took his jacket off, got loud, and man, DC explained what happened. Told me he had a run in and he was tripping and falling. Now, to be fair, that's just man DC's point of view of what happened. That's man DC's perspective. Jim Jones might have a whole different story. But this is just something I wanted to touch on because I don't feel like this was talked about enough. I just wanted to shed a little light on this situation. And like I said, when I do these videos, it's not to restart any old drama. It's just to bring us back to a time when hip hop was real and raw. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, get in that comment section and let me know what y'all think. And I'm out. One.